Vermont is full of kind and passionate citizens. We are in shock and are all grieving together. As the healing begins, we will recover. We will not let the actions of one individual impact our resolve. We will band together as a community and will emerge even stronger. But in this time of sorrow, please continue to pray for the victims and the families of the victims and our community. Thank you. One of the hardest uh, experiences that uh, people can go through is what the first responders go through. I think there is no training that uh, can prepare them for what they see when they respond to tragedies like this. And so we are going to spend some time to pray for the first responders. Before we pray, I would like to read this scripture from Romans chapter 3, verses 3 to 5. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, character, hope, and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. We're gonna spend some moments in silent prayer and please look at the screen and then we'll pray together silently. Shall we pray together? Our God and Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for giving us a time like this when we can come together to encourage one another. For your word tells us, pray for one another. And this is exactly what we do tonight. We thank you for the first responders and their families. Lord, we thank you that, oh God, you are there for them to protect them to encourage them, Lord, through their experiences, to teach them different lessons. We thank you and we bless you because we know that you are the one that upholds them in your right hand of righteousness. We pray, Lord God, that your hand may continue to be upon them. Lord, the things that they've been trained to do and some things which they have not been trained to do, you will be able to fill in and help them along the way. We pray that, oh God, their hearts be strong and be encouraged. Let them stand strong in you, knowing that, oh God, you are always there for us, for you have said in your word that you will neither leave us nor forsake us. Surround them with your mercies. Let your peace be upon them. We pray for their families as they sometimes wait in fear, not knowing what the future holds for their loved ones. We pray, Lord God, that you will surround them with words of encouragement. Minister to them as you do graciously. We give you honor and we give you praise. We pray for your blessings to rest upon our first responders. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. After seeing the, the people that are here and the messages that we've heard so far, I think I'm going to put my script up and I'm just going to speak from the heart. Jesus, just please take the wheel. Our community has just been hit. And it hurts. It hurts. 
I was with several people yesterday when we got the notification. And we just stopped and prayed. We just stopped and prayed. And I think prayer is going to be what we're going to need to get go forward. Alan's going to heal. The first things that went through my mind were the victims. How did we get to that point? The victims and the families. The kids that were supposed to show up home after they. The people who had to witness it. We pray for them. I thought about the clerks and the workers out at the uh, out at the mall and just how they felt deep in their hearts. They didn't know what to do. I don't think we've ever been prepared for this. The first responders, the EMS, how they responded to the call to comfort a lot of folks. Last night, I got a phone call. Uh, last night, I had some neighbors give us a shout. And they just said that we can't be home. Can we come over? So we had several families over. And we just talked about the day to day. And then I start thinking once again about our community. You know, we're a very small town that takes care of each other. And I appreciate all the people that have come in and try to help us out. But we're gonna need prayer. We're going to need prayer. So please, think about our families here in this community. Think about all the people that are involved. And just let's pray. Jesus, take the wheel. Thank you. Well, we live in an amazing community and we want to take some time to pray for our community, for the hundreds of families in our community that have been affected by this tragedy. Our prayer is that they will be comforted. We want to spend some time praying for our community leaders and government officials that God would give you wisdom in the coming days as you lead our community. And finally, we want to give you the opportunity to pray that as we all go back into our community, that we would be the hands and feet of Jesus, that we would love and serve our community well with love and grace. But before we do that, let me read from 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verses 3 and 4. And it says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. So let's take a few moments now to spend some quiet prayer praying for our community. Father, we pray that you would bring comfort to our community, pour out your love and your grace on us. We pray for those in our community that have been affected, and we pray that they would know your peace right now. We pray for our community leaders and government officials. Father, we pray that your hand would be upon them, that you would give them your wisdom. And help us, Lord, to listen and love for our community well in the coming days, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.
we come here broken there's a healer in the house i'm gonna upload a, a documentary on luther and uh another one on the amish the luther one's gonna be about three hours and i think the amish one's about an hour and a half I'm not sure what happened in 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 Alan. <sighs>